So today I'm going to share a patient story with you. Caroline had Achilles tendinopathy a little while back and her story is so typical of the symptoms and the experiences of a lot of people with Achilles tendinopathy that it's a really good one to share. So you're going to learn a lot about Achilles tendinopathy along the way and how she settled it down. So just six weeks before Caroline was due to do a 38 mile walk across the North York Moors, did she start with pain and symptoms in her Achilles tendon. Now Caroline's symptoms were really classic. She had pain in the tendon, she had swelling in the tendon, the tendon was thicker and she also had quite a lot of stiffness in that tendon. Um, and her pain was much worse when she was walking and running. So with the deadline looming, she set about settling this tendon down and she didn't come and see me immediately she spent two weeks at home by herself sort of resting the tendon using ice using anti-inflammatories and just doing things to settle that tendon down now after two weeks when it wasn't it was a little bit better but really not where it needed to be she came in to see me in clinic so we have just four weeks left, I knew we had to hit this tendon hard. So we started the Achilles tendinopathy programme and started stage one of the programme, which is all about settling down the tendon and making that tendon much happier. And thankfully, we were very relieved when I caught up with her a week later and her tendon was much happier. Her pain had gone. So that was great. However, we both knew that there was quite a strong possibility that as soon as she started back with her exercise, that that would flare straight back up again. So we set about on stage two of the programme, which is all about looking to change the health of the tendon, because even after you have got your tendon settled down, it can rear its ugly head again. And that's because underneath that, there's a really unhealthy tendon. And that unhealthy tendon hasn't changed. It might be a little bit happier, but the tendon health is still poor. So often, as soon as you go back to exercise, and you might have found this yourself, then your tendon will tend to flare up and that pain will tend to come back. So we started on some exercises to really start to strengthen and load that tendon. And also to address some of the problems with Caroline's biomechanics because there was quite a lot of problems in her foot and in her hip that meant that there was a lot of torsion going through the tendon that was upsetting it as well. So we worked to change those and thankfully three weeks later I received this video. I'm 30 miles in to the Lightwake walk uh, my heel is holding up really well. Um, thanks, Helen. You, you, the exercises were fantastic. Um, major improvement on how I felt six weeks ago. Uh, didn't think I'd be, be able to do this walk at all. So um, not too long now, about seven miles to go. But thanks very much. So she did the walk and actually a tendon held it really well. It was a little bit sore after, but not, not the, to the amount that I thought it would be. And that's all down to her really, really embracing the programme. She knew she was on a tight deadline and she threw everything at it. So with the advice I gave her and her enthusiasm and just doing what, you know, she was advised to do, she managed to get through the walk. So well done. Now that tendon, even though she'd got through it, she was well aware that, that tendon was still not healthy. So she continued with the programme and continued working through the programme, working through the strength of the loading process, working on a biomechanics, but really working to load that tendon to get it much healthier. And six weeks later, she was back to running and I spoke to her not so long ago, actually, and her tendon is still holding up really well. So she's made some lasting structural changes. So Caroline's story is great and the reason I share that is because she's obviously very inspiring as to what you can do when you put your mind to it. So well done Caroline. But also, you know, her symptoms were quite typical. From that we can learn a lot of things that go wrong with tendons. So quite often I will see people who have tried to settle their tendon down and quite often they will do that stage one process. They'll manage to get their tendon settled down. 
But I think what they don't realise is underlying that, generally they have a tendon that's really unhealthy. And as soon as they go back to exercise or they start to lower that tendon again, it's going to flare back up. And that's a really common pattern. So sometimes it's quite easy to settle it down. But what's not as easy is to stop it from coming back again in the future. And that's where those long term changes to tendon health come in. The other thing, the other problem that's really um, common with Achilles tendons is this balance of load. Because what's caused Achilles tendons to become unhappy and tendinopathic in the first place generally is than being overloaded. So just like Caroline, she had that week before where she did more miles and she did a hill run. So she overloaded that tendon. But actually to make that tendon healthy, we have to start to load it. And if you don't load the tendon, then you're never gonna make those long-term changes that you need to the health of the tendon to stop it from flaring back up again in the future. But obviously if overloading's aggravated it and caused it, but we need to load it, it's a really fine line between overloading it and flaring it up. So it's about loading it in a way that's not going to aggravate the tendon and is going to get that tendon strong and healthy without making it sore in the meantime. So if you're interested in finding out more about the programme, I'll stop talking now, then take a look. But I just wanted to get some inspiration from that. Also, if you're not quite sure, if you've got Achilles tendinopathy, then take a look. There's a um, video attached, a, a free video lesson that you can have a look at. And I take you through an assessment of your Achilles tendon. So you can see what's going on with your Achilles tendon and see if you've got some degeneration there, if you've got an unhealthy tendon. So if you're interested, take a look at that. And I'd love to see you there. All right, take care. Bye.